name's Jenny Bush and today we are talking about goal setting for 2019. Why, what and how so that you can make 2019 your best year ever. So if you're watching on a replay or on YouTube or on the blog, as always, please, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask me at any point um, because I would always come back and answer your questions. So um, a few key things about what we're doing in the goal setting workshop tonight is that you can download a free business goal setter template that goes with it, which is available from my website. Um, and that also... Um, ties in with the content calendar, uh, which again you can download and print just like this. You can print it off yourself, you can get the download straight away today, or you can order a printed version that comes as a spiral bound booklet, and I can post those out to you. So, tonight we're going to get on with um, learning about how to set our goals and how to make sure that we're actually focusing on getting great. Um, traction in our business and we're going to start to earn more money and get really super focused. Um, so in the last video that we did um, in this series we talked about setting your prices and that was with Chris McCulloch and the replay is available on the in the group on, if you search via hashtag marketing Monday it's also available on my blog and YouTube channel and also on my Facebook page so have a look for that and it was all about setting your prices and if you're watching um, before December the 4th we've got a webinar that goes with Chris's um, series on setting your prices which was um, and the link is available in the, the comments so do make sure that you sign up um, because there won't be a replay so you must make sure you get onto that uh, also the content calendar is now available as I say on the website for instant download. So let's talk about goals. So why do you need to set goals in your business? Now goals are something that um, I've always felt that I needed in my business but I've always struggled to set them. I've always struggled to know what I want to do next and I've always struggled to keep the goals and so this is the system that I use that helps me to work through my business and I, I've actually stayed quite well on track so I'm hoping that it'll be useful to you too. So um, it's much easier to know where you're going if you've set a goal. And that could be based on a vision that you've got or an idea that you've got or something that you want to do, whether it wants to achieve your business so that you grow into a position where you get staff or that you get better income. Um, it's much easier to get there if you know where you're actually going. So a specific plan will get specific results and also what gets measured will get done and once it's measured it's also likely to be improved so you're going to get there much faster, you're going to be able to focus better and it's also going to show that you're really serious about taking your business further um, and so those goals and targets are really really essential. So just to give you a little bit of motivation and some um, words of wisdom. So here are a few quotes that I found on setting goals. So set your goals high and don't stop until you get there. Setting goals is the first step in turning the invisible into the visible. Stay focused, go after your dreams and keep moving towards your goals. And discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. And I think that last one is really key because if you want to achieve your goals, you're going to have to be self-disciplined because otherwise you're just going to write them down, you're going to have them in mind. But unless you continue to go back to them, unless you continue to go, what is my goal? How am I going to be taking steps every day to make that happen in my life? Um, and, th and that takes discipline. You just won't get there. So I'm sure many of you have heard previously about the expression SMART goals. And I know that, yeah, my coach has often said to me, Jenny, your goals need to be SMART. And I'm thinking, what do you mean SMART? I, don't, I, I barely can work out what I want for breakfast, let alone SMART goals. But that means they need to be specific. So you need to really get into detail, really get into it, what, why, how and one of the key things is again looking at the why is because if you know why you are wanting to do something because it's going to make a difference if you know how that's going to make you feel that's going to make a massive massive impact in going forwards with those goals 
<coughs> excuse me. Um, so also a key um, to coming to set your goals is we're focusing tonight on business goals because uh, we've all got businesses. But do look at all areas of your life and make sure that you are balancing everything. If you spend your whole time working towards your business goal, you will soon find that you lose your your sight of uh, other things that might be more important, like your relationships or your health or how you're feeling physically, spiritually. So have a look. There's a whole another section. If you look up, there's like eight pillars um, which um, form to make a happy life. And so it's quite key to include some of those goals going forward as well. So the template that we're going to use for this to help you is available from my website, which is the equinebusinessassistant.co.uk forward slash shop. And it's a free business goal setting template and it's available and it looks exactly like this. So in the first column, we're going to review the last year. So I'll go through all these questions with you in a moment. The second column, uh, we do a quick financial review. And the idea is that this should only take 15 minutes. <coughs> Excuse me a horse throat tonight um, but we shouldn't be spending too long I've left the boxes quite small for a reason because I want you to be really focused what few words you want to use as few words as possible so that you can really focus on these and you can choose the right words so the second column has a look at your finances and then the third column is actually for setting those goals so you write in the what um, the how, the why, and then we make them measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound. And so there's columns all in this free sheet to help you to do that. And when you download that, that PDF is actually editable, so you can click on any of the boxes and that will enable you to type straight onto it, or you can print it off and write directly onto the paper. Okay, so the first step is we're going to look at reviewing. Um, so in two or three sentences, I want you to get really, really clear about what you offer, why, yeah, a little brief who you are, do you know something that really is the key to why you do what you do and why it matters in your life that you do your business and try and get that really, really focused. Then you're going to look at any goals that you've set before, what happened? Did, did, did you actually achieve them or did you fall by the wayside? What have you learned from setting those goals in the past? And how did you do? Because that's going to help you to focus on anything that you might need to change this time to make sure that you stay on track. Or it might help to motivate you to make sure that these goals happen as well because you've already had success in other areas. Question number three is what was your biggest block over the last year? Now, for many people, there are different sorts of blocks. A lot of people have to deal with mindset issues. A lot of people have to deal with imposter syndrome. They find that's a block. Some people feel that it's money and it's making money that's causing block. For some people, you're not even sure about what it is that was blocking you. But um, it could be something really simple that you might not have the right equipment and you want to get that, make that easier next year. So just try and um, quickly work out any blocks that you've had. Then you're going to look at any habits or in things that you'd like to improve or anything that you want to implement over the next year. So for me, over the last year, one of my habits that I wanted to get better at was I wanted to be able to journal every day. I wanted to be able to get better at time planning. So I've done a lot of things to help me get better with my time planning and, and to improve myself. And I've spent money on courses and coaches and um, I journal every day, I do my yoga every day and, and that's all part of a habit and when you want to form a habit it takes self-discipline as we've already discussed but it also you need to do it for at least 21 days for that habit to start to form. So what is it that you think would help you and what habits do you need to implement into your lifestyle to make this happen? And then um, and then just to think, well, do you already take time out to remind yourself of those goal, of your goals and your needs? And if not, how are you going to remind yourself regularly of your goals? Because again, if you don't remind yourself, you're not going to stay on track. 
if you just write it down, hide it in the bottom of a folder, never look at it again over the next year, it's very unlikely that you're going to meet these goals. So have a little think about how you're going to take them forward and how you're going to take out time daily to do that. So I write it in my journal. Every day I write what goals I have. I've got them stuck on my planner. Um, I've got them stuck on my pin board. I have them um, in visual form as a, as a form of a um, sort of like a, I can't think what the word is at the moment, but it's like, yeah, it's like a, a board with pictures on it so that I can um, visualise how my goals are going to um, come to fruition because again it's you've got to tap in not just to the fact that you want might want to make more money for example but you need to know why it is and what that's going to matter and why it's going to make a difference to you so that's a really important part of these goal settings so review your finances so the next column we're going to look actually at the money because again you're in business to make money if you're not in business to make money then why are you in business so yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it, it wouldn't really work that well. So if you have a quick look, what do you think generated you the most income over the last year? Now, you might be surprised at what generated the most income. What was your best seller? Yeah, what was your... Um, yeah, and if you don't know, perhaps you need to get a system that's going to help you to know. And that's going to give, give you a goal for the next year is to get this in place. But I can go straight to my account system and it does a nice pie chart for me and tells me exactly what earned me the most money. So I can, I can see that at a glance. So I know where I should be focusing to get my money in. What was your biggest achievement or win over the last year? That's really important. Um, because it's going to help to set you up for the next year. So what went really well for you? What was your biggest expense? And take some time to just have a quick look through your finances and think, well, actually, are all these expenses necessary? Have you got subscriptions there that you don't need to go forward in the next year? What, what do you need? What don't you need? And cut those out. <clears throat> and then you're going to look at projecting your expenses for the next year so do you think that any of those expenses are going to increase in the next year do you need to be able to make sure that you earn enough money to cover any of those expenses or is there something else that you need over the next year or that you'd like to get over the next year that you need to start to budget for so that could be you want to be able to outsource more stuff it could be that you want to um, get a new member of staff it could be equipment that you need but what expenses going forward do you need to budget for? It could be that you want to do more adverts. You've got to take that into consideration with your budgeting. <coughs> and then take a moment to look at your income. And based on the last year, is there anything that needs to change? Do you think that you need to put your prices up in the next year? Do you need to lower the, your prices? Do you need to sell more stuff? Yeah, or is it just fine as it goes and you just need more clients? So have a quick look and review those. And then we're going to get into your actual specific goals. So um, my advice is now not to set too many goals. So we're just going to do three to five for your business for the next year. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So it could be... Um, yeah, something very simple you only want to do three or three to five um, and you could be that you want to achieve them in the next 90 days it could be that you want to do them in the next month but you're only going to set three to five at any one time any more than that is unmanageable so with those goals you're going to write them down you're going to be quite specific so if your goal for example is you want to make more money you know, in the what column you're going to be a bit more specific so how much money for example and then you're going to put how are you going to do that so you're going to start to get a plan together you're going to start to be a bit more specific and you're going to know how that's going to come into action for you then you're going to put any whys now in the whys as I said before, it's really important that you tap into feeling. 
when it sets your goal because if you are emotionally attached to this goal you are more likely to make it happen so when you think about your why put in how it's going to change your lifestyle how it's going to change um, how something how you're going to feel and um, so that you're going to understand that you're going for it for a reason because it's when it comes to goals it's not the goal that you achieve it's the feeling that you get from it is what you really want so make sure you spend some time to really tap into the why of the goal and then you're going to decide how you're going to measure it so if we're looking at money is it by a percentage yeah so what's the percentage or is it by a specific amount so what is that how are you going to measure it how are you going to know that you've reached it and how soon are you going to know you've reached it so you're going to check in every month you're going to check in every day yeah how are you going to measure it uh, then you're going to answer is it actually att attainable so if your goal was i'm going to make a million pounds in the next month if you're not already making near a million pounds it's very unlikely that you're going to make a million pounds in such a short space of time unless you win the lottery or know a genie or something so make sure it's attainable because one of the problems that we have is when we set goals that are unattainable our subconscious kicks in are those niggling thoughts kick in and we soon self-sabotage because we go well i'm not going to make that that's too much and you start to hear those little voices in your head yeah and so with attainable is it realistic so again yeah you're thinking can i can i really do this um and then you're going to finish off by setting a time so you're going to bind it to when you're going to achieve it so you're going to know specifically when you're going to check in so if you're giving yourself a year for example you can then take that goal and you can work out well what do i need to do each quarter what do i need to do each month what do i need to do each week what do i need to do each day and you can break it down because you you've got it specific enough that you know exactly what your income should be today so that you can make sure that you reach your goal uh, by that time that you've set and that's going to help you to move it forward so again going forwards you're going to think about the goals that you've set regularly over the year or the 90 days or the week or the month or, or whatever it's set for but you're going to think about them constantly you're going to post it up ev everywhere and anywhere that you can remember you're going to make sure you write it down you're going to put it in your journal you're going to stick it on the wall whatever you need to but you're going to make sure that you stick it up and actually look at it so again work out what you need to do in the quarter what you need to do in the month what you need to do in the week what you need to do each day to make that happen for you and you're going to put that in and then you can add it to your content calendar so you can plan all your social media and your content around it. So again, if, if one of your, your goals was to make more money, well, how is your content going to do that? How is it going to bring in customers? How is it going to bring in more clients? What are you going to do to make that happen? Or it's going to be, um, if you want to add more people to your mailing list, well, how are you going to do that? Um, yeah, and you're going to do it by putting out the content, by posting on Facebook, by actually going and asking and asking for the sale and asking for them to join your list and and things like that so you can use those goals to plan out in your content calendar and that's also a good place to keep you on track because every month it reminds you of what your goal is for the quarter or for the week and you can stay reminded so again you can get the free goal setting template available from the equinebusinessassistant.co.uk forward slash shop and I hope you've really enjoyed this. So if you've got any questions or comments, you can send them to me either on an email, you can comment below and I will come back and I will answer any questions that um, you may have. And I will also add a link in the show notes to the website so that you can do that. Um, again, thank you for joining me and I hope you found this really, really useful. And so I wish you a really good evening. So take care. Bye.